Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, how's everybody doing, hope you all get along well, I have another devotional for you, this devotional is entitled, The Spirit's Work. Now I'll be reading from my Bible, Acts chapter 2, verses 38 and 39. <clears throat> and Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sin. And, you'll, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off. Everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. Alright, that's the Bible reading. Now the devotion. We all fail. Many of us don't always live as scripture teaches, and we miss out on the joy and peace that Jesus promised. The reason we don't recognize the need to live in the Spirit, so we try to live each day in our own strength. On Pentecost, God's Spirit came to and dwell believers. He is a gift, blessing us in many ways. Let's consider some of the work he does. The Holy Spirit convict, convicts us of sin so that we can repent, regenerates us as believers where new be beings alive in Christ. He seals us for forever as a child of the Almighty. He teaches us, guides, and empowers us for the rest of our life. His gifts and yeah, gifts and enables us to do the work God has planned for us. For a list of spiritual gifts, well, see First Corinthians 12. Bears fruit through us. As we are obedient to what God calls us to do, we get to watch Him work in mighty ways. All these benefits are available to everyone who follows Jesus. But we can miss out by attempting to live in our own meager strength. Remember, the Christian life is this. Christ living his life in, in and through us by the power of God's indwelling Holy Spirit. Oh, amen. <clears throat> Thank God for the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, hope you all enjoyed the reading. Hope it meant something to you. And until I read to you again, God bless you all. Goodbye.